The contributions of educational assistants and special educators and related service providers can really make the difference in the educational outcomes for students with significant disabilities. But we just want to make sure that we don't provide so much support that we inadvertently prevent students from accessing the social opportunities in a classroom or the learning opportunities in a classroom. So it's really about striking that right balance between just enough adult support to promote success uh, but not so much that it actually squashes independence and participation in class activities. So some of the indicators that you might be providing too much support to students could be things like uh, when students always eat lunch with adults rather than with their peers. Another indicator that you might be providing too much support is when peers in a class always ask questions through an adult rather than talking directly to the student with disabilities. Or vice versa, when the student with disabilities turns first to adults to answer questions or get support rather than going to peers. We can even see uh, too much support happening when we pair peers with and without disabilities up with one another. When we start to see peers looking more like mini teachers rather than classmates, we're probably providing too much support.